Rogelio Garcia became licensed in September of 2017 and already in that short time has helped buyers and sellers and has really grown a business based on positivity. So Ro, will you tell us a little bit about uh, why did you get licensed to begin with? You, you know, um, it was that time in my life, I, I had a good career and I needed to make a different change for myself. And the biggest thing is my, my previous career was in retail. Mm. And well, most of us seen how retail is coming out and uh, my goal was to do something different. I still want to be able to build something that had a good foundation and, uh, and, and really um, I wanted to help people as well. So I know by helping people get into homes, uh, it'd be very impactful in their lives. And that's something I've always uh, tried to do in my life as well. Right. Everybody has the opportunity to go knock on an agent's door, mm -hmm. take an agent to lunch, take an agent yeah. to coffee, and just have a conversation. And, and the people that I see most successful in this business are having those conversations about where did top agents go right yeah. and where do they fail. Yeah. Right? So you've done that. I have. What are some <laughs> of the things that you've heard that agents have done really well? Um, well, you know what? It's, it's just being able to be consistent. Mm -hmm. you, you know, uh, uh, I'm fortunate enough to be part of the Heil group, and I've had a chance to talk personally with, you know, Tim Heil and a lot of the leaders in that group. And, uh, you know, they constantly say is, is um, uh, consistency is a secret sauce to success. And, I mean, uh, that's huge. Um, but then, you know, I've also gone to other agents, you know, Bobby uh, McKinnon, you know, talk about a, a plethora of knowledge yeah. right there. Top and individual agent. <laughs> top PW. individual agent. Yes. So you always got to go, yes. with, gotta <laughs> yeah. go, gotta go look, at the, look at the top go 30. Go to the top. Yeah. Go to the top 30 and, and yeah. take a look at some of those agents and, you know, ask them those questions. Um, you, you know, and e even uh, Brian Kukendall, right, right next door, uh, his door's always open that, I, that I've always gone over and just ask him. Uh, any question he's helped me in a, in a couple of different pieces where where there's that uh. you, so consistency yeah that is that is the one thing that I think agents fail at the most mm -hmm. is being consistent and staying consistent w you had said in the interview that um, that having the faith that the business is what you're doing is yeah. going to turn into something well, that is consistency so I learned from one of the top agents you know focus on on doing one thing really good before you start trying to do 30 different things really good right because um, it's it's so easy to be distracted with all the different things that are out there all the shiny bells. all this oh my god yeah. my goodness I'm, I'm sure you guys know the moment you got your license you have like 30 calls not from clients but from vendors. <laughs> if you want to make money in real estate, sell things to real, to real estate, estate agents. agents. That's yeah. it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, I, I still get calls to this day saying, you know, offering me different, um, you know, shiny toys, so to speak. And, uh, you know, I, I learned from the beginning. It's like, hey, you know, do that one thing really good. Mm -hmm. Become really good at that one right there. Give it your all um, before you start switching over. So I think that's been a, a huge factor for me. Yeah. Is that I focus on, you know, I've narrowed my focus onto some of the activities that I want to do yeah. to make sure I can get the success I want within those activities. And, you know, I know I personally changed my activity if it wasn't showing me that success, not instantly, but, you know, three to five months down the line, mm -hmm. especially if I've been consistent. So, so do you, correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't at the Heil Group you guys choose like three things that you're focused on, three pillars? Of your business? Yeah, so there's it's essentially, yeah, a couple of different pillars of success. Okay. And, you know, we have the opportunity to choose which pillars. You know, if you take a look, uh, so many options. I mean, open houses, calling, um, you know, you can always do door knocking as well. Um, mailing and uh, farming, you know, as it's... as it's Your sphere. At your sphere. You know. Yeah. Um, so really, it's... it's so what are the three that you... Or, or what are your pillars of success that you're focused on? Um, well, for me, if, if you come in here every morning, you'll see me inside here. Yeah. I am on the phones. I'm calling uh, leads, you know, whether they be FISBOs, expires, uh, warm leads that we've had in our system, um, people that haven't been in our system, and then, of course, what we call cir circle prospecting, which is just calling neighborhoods, different areas, mm -hmm. just to see if uh, someone has interest. So it, it kind of works its way down by, you know, uh, who is most likely. Mm -hmm. to, to bring business, mm -hmm. but I do do it every single morning. Yeah, so. <laughs> consistency. Yeah. Being consistent. So did you know when you walked into day one of real estate that 
that's what this business was? Was circle prospecting or was calling or being consistent? I mean, you ran a multi-million dollar business, so yeah. you had to know some of it Yeah, was what but it was, right? Even after but that. Was the there any surprises? Uh, you, you know what? It, it's tough because even starting uh, the business, the new business, you know, um, we did do a lot of, you know, uh, calling and a, and a lot of uh, walking the streets in my, in my previous job. But realistically, it, it's funny because I think we always revert back to the pretty things. Yes. You know, I went back to my the business sh- cards. Yeah, the shiny things the shiny will things. make me money. And then uh, I, had to, I, had to re- I had to come back. I had to, you know, check myself. You know, yeah, and that the, your your beautiful business card <laughs> beautiful. wasn't going it to was, make you a million, million dollars. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, and and it was it was one of those things that I I had to take a look and see. Hey, is is the business card going to be the thing that brings me my money? Because the first thing everyone thinks of is, oh, my website has got to be great. Yes. You know, my Facebook profile has got to be sharp. You know, uh, and, and I, I don't think that's it. You yeah. know, people are going to do peop- business with people. Yes. I, I, I've told that to so many people, you know, throughout the years that it's the people they're doing business with, not necessarily your business card. Right. So if you look at my business card right now, they still don't have my face on. <laughs> but and you're doing just fine. I'm doing all right. Yeah, you're I'm doing, doing all right. right. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about for a second about um, being upbeat and having a positive attitude. Talk about positivity and... <sighs> and why that is so important in your life. Because everywhere you go, you're like this shining light, this beacon of, of hope, right, or positivity. <laughs> um, have you always been like, what, do, do I imagine Roe, five-year-old Roe, just as positive as you are today? Uh, you, you know what? There, there, was, there was a dark period. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I was, I was Buckeye, glasses. Like, I mean, you, you talk about, you know. We all go through it. I stage, think, you yeah. know, that was, that was a tough time. Yeah. But, uh, but you know, a, a long time ago, I, I learned that it's not, it's not just about, you know, um, us. We can, always, we can always, we always have the power to change our mindset around every particular situation. Mm-hmm. And I think that's one of the most powerful things that I learned at a young age, which I think a lot of people take, you know, maybe years and sometimes some people never learn. Yeah. Is, uh, is that it, we have the option maybe not to control the outcome per se, but control how we react to the outcome. Right. And uh, it's not what happens to you, it's your choice in wait, how does it go? It's not it's not what happens to you, it's how you choose to deal with it or, or whatever. To react to it. Yeah, Oprah would it. be so disappointed. O- o- Oprah, how you choose on. to react. Yeah. Yeah. It's not <laughs> what happens to you, it's how you choose to react. And that's exactly yeah. it. And I and I think, you know, we all have that choice. And and a lot of times even though we know we have that choice, we don't always take that choice uh, yeah. the way we need to. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. I, I think that that probably explains your success in life is because you don't get stuck in that mindset of poor me or mm-hmm. I'm this victim, um, they did yeah. this to me or whatever, right? You take ownership but if you screw up or you just continue yeah. to have or a you positive keep, keep, mind. Keep going. It's keep that. going. If you what? ask anybody that's ever been shown success, yeah, you know they're, they're going to tell you the, the exact same thing. It's, it's, sometimes it's not pretty. Right. It's no. not pretty sometimes, but... Yeah, sometimes it's real messy. It, oh, it is. Yeah. But we, ha- well, we always have a choice to get how to get there. Yeah. yeah. So, like I said, I, I know I'm still a newer agent, and I, I'd always be open to help other people that are, you know, starting the business or, mm-hmm. or want to know more of what I've done. Um, like I said, I, I think it's important to share. And then I, I encourage everybody else to reach out to the other agents. You know, find the agents you're going to connect with and, and really uh, see how you can build your business because mm-hmm. it is, truly is going to be your business. Yeah, ask for their, get their advice. Yeah. Yeah, key. And really, um, reach out to your allied resources, too. Mm-hmm. You've got top producing lenders, uh, title and escrow, home warranty. You've got people who are yeah. in the business, maybe not selling real estate, but they're still doing the same thing as and, you are. And, you know, they know a lot about it. And yes. uh, I guess, you know, that kind of takes me to another point. You know, go, go to the events. You know, get yeah. to, I mean, sometimes I see all these events, and I've gone to just about everything that I can. Go to them and, and see who's there and, and chat with the people that are there. Because uh, especially a lot of our, our own leaders, our own uh, uh, people of industry are, are in these events as well. Yeah. And it gives you a chance to connect with them and uh, create those contacts. Yeah. Yeah, so. it's all about building relationships. That's it. Uh, so, Ro, if somebody wanted to get a hold of you, how would they go about doing that? Um, you can always reach out directly to me by phone or by text, 775-502-9887 or by email, rogelio.garcia at kw.com. 
R-O-G-E-L-I-O dot Garcia, G-A-R-C-I-A at KW.com. Awesome. Ro, thank mm -hmm. you very much. You guys stay tuned for our next episode. And as always, if you have any questions, please send them in. I would love to ask uh, our real estate agents that. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys.